Welcome back, everyone! Last time, Carr discovered the shocking truth of his own family. And now, I'm gonna just advance off the screen, because I'm sure you've seen enough of this already. Here we go. It's gonna be... It's gonna be... Oh, I saw someone. Dark. Dark. Reunion. Oh. Oh, no. No, this is not time for a reunion. Oh my god. Uh, yep, it's it's gonna happen, everyone. It is time for a reunion, like it or not. Unless they mean reunioning with these guys, but... I don't know. Again, why did we leave them behind? I don't know. That dark? Where the heck did he disappear to? Maybe he got snatched up by the Dillsweld. No way! Dark would never get himself caught by any humans. Yeah, but don't forget that human ship we saw fly off while we were fighting. Those nasty humans might be doing experiments on him right now, just like they did to me. Would you just shut up? Then why doesn't he come back? How the heck should I know? Maybe he's tired of your mouth, Delma, dear, and that's why he doesn't come back. <laughs> what? Just try saying that again, you old bitty. You old bitty? What? Okay, that's new. Ah. Uh, the color of Delma's anger, a light, blossom pink. Her feelings shift from pale rose to a bright golden yellow. Yes, she misses him. Anxiety. She's worried about Dark. Worried? Me? You don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Why would I be worried about Dark? Delma, you're not much of a liar. This girl isn't hard to read. We can tell what she's thinking in that rough little head of hers. Would you all just shut up about me already? We've got to figure out how we're going to find Doc! But you know, we've gone just about everywhere we could think of already. Yeah, but... Wait a minute. Haven't you noticed how Dark's been tormented by something ever since we came to Ragnar? Maybe wherever he went off to has something to do with that. Dark's been... tormented? Yeah, well, come to think of it, he did want to go see Willowo by himself that time. In that case, maybe we should go see this Willowo and see what we can find out. Miles ahead of you, old hag! Yup, it's time to go see Willowo! Oh? I'm actually in control of someone else? This is different, okay, sure. Whatever, moving on then. We're just gonna... Why don't they just call this Delma Part 1 then? Why is, why is it gotta be Dark Part 4? No, this is clearly Delma's time to shine, isn't it? I don't even know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Anyway, let's, let's have a conversation, shall we? Hey, you, Willowo! What the heck did you say to Dark that ma to make him take off like that? Uh, who, who are you? What business do you have here? While we were fighting the humans, Dark disappeared. What? Dark is missing? Don't worry. Dark would never let himself get done in by any mere humans, you can count on that. But ever since Dark came here, something's been bothering him. And you came all- you came to ask if I knew what it was, right? That's right. Figured you might know something about it. First, let me ask you something. Sagan told me you're from the Orkhan, Lupine, and Pianta tribes. Not a one of you from the same tribe. And so Dark certainly isn't your tribe leader. Why then do you bother with him? What is Dark to you exactly? And why do you follow him? Because he's our friend, because he's strong. <laughs> no special reason. Yeah, sure, no special reason. No reason, huh? Ha ha ha! Dark seems to possess something that draws others to him. I hate to admit it, but Dark's mother, Nafia, must have had something like that too. As strong as Windolf's sense of duty was, she was able to make him throw it all away. Confound that woman. Now, before I tell you what troubles Dark, I have to tell you more about Dark's mother and father. And so we listen to the conversation, but we don't actually get to listen to it because we already heard it is Dark. Dot, 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 dot. What's the matter? At a loss for words. Well, I don't suppose I can blame you. Dark is not a Deimos, and yet he's not a human either. He had a twin brother once, but now that twin is dead. No matter where he goes in this world, he'll never find another like him. No one can feel the pain he feels. No one can understand his worries. He's all alone in the world. 
That is what is tormenting him. Gee! Dark! If you're going to go out looking for Dark, you'd better take this with you. It's all I can do for you now. Acquire the Life Tree Berry. Why do we need that? Oh, speaking of that, I completely forgot. And I'll wait for Dark to come back in the party. But I completely forgot about these things that boost your stats that I completely been for neglecting for some reason. <sighs> I can't believe this. Dark never told us any of this. Well, I knew his father was dead, but I never heard anything about his mother or twin brother or about them being dead. So Dark had a twin, a brother in the same situation he was in. If only that twin had lived. I bet Dark's burden would have been easier to bear for to poor Dark. No. What? What do you mean, no, Babadora? Dark's thoughts, they still remain in this place. Dark doesn't believe he's all alone in the world. He's thinking of his brother. He believes he's still alive. And he's thinking he wants to find him. No way! Are you trying to tell us Dark went looking for his brother? It could be true. Well, if it is, where in the world should we start looking for him? Hey, didn't Willow say something about Dark's mother? He said... She was from a human town called Yubel. That's right here on Ragna. Yubel, huh? Guess we have no other choice. Let's go. Wait, is this all gonna connect together? Are they the Are they the ones who caused Dillswell to attend? No, no, they couldn't have been. That wouldn't be right. But I don't even know anymore. Maybe they did attack because of this group. Maybe this is before that the Dillswell actually attacked. And huh. Eh. That's an interesting thing to think about, though. At least I think it is. Alright, let's fix. Wait. The music's different. Listen to this for a second. But yeah, the, the music's different. That's, that was weird. I, I don't think I've ever heard the music be different before like that, but hey, you know what? Something different. I don't mind that. Not in the slightest. Or I do... Well, what? I don't even know. I, I like it, though, is what I'm trying to say. You will's on the other side of this forest? That's right. We're entering the human territories now. Are you all ready? Let's go, then. Let's go! Are you crazy? What do you plan to do? March right in? I thought we were gonna raid the town and make them tell us where Dark is. You got a better plan? You're the last person that should go, folk. Me? Why shouldn't I go? If you went, you wouldn't let up until you slaughtered every last human! And we can't afford that kind of attention until after we found Dark! What do you want to do, then? I know, we should send just one person, a spy. Why not just send Bebidora? She's the most human-looking person here. Well, I mean, still a little weird-looking, but still, she's the most human-like. Sounds good, let me do it. <sighs> Look, not you, Volk! Uh, why not? I'll go. See, there we go. Huh? You? I'll find out where Dark went. You? You really think you can handle that? Bebadora, that's a wonderful idea, child. If Bebadora goes, those nasty humans wouldn't even know she wasn't one of them. She'd be perfect for finding out what happened to Dark. Gee, I don't... I don't know. What do you think? Don't ask me. I have no idea how humans think. And I don't want to know, either. You can't fool me, Camellia! You just don't want to go yourself! How do we know you're not just making stuff up to get out of going? What? Why would I do that? Just look at her, she's the only one of us that looks like a human! Tell me I'm wrong! Right, Pepidora? Be a good girl and convince this Orkhan woman for me. I mean, I was saying that too, she does look like a freaking human. I don't even know how they even got the idea she was Deimos in the first place. I'm a puppet, a marionette on strings. I take the shape of a human. I imitate what humans do. I am human-like. That's what I am. And that's why I'll go. I'll go find out about Dark. Dark is my master. See? What do you think of that? She says so herself. And if things get rough for her, she can always use her puppet master skills to escape. Yes. Better leave this one to Bebadora. That's the best plan, I tell you. What do you say, Volk? 
If Bebendora tries and fails, then we all go. It's as simple as that. Alright, that settles it then. You go, Bebendora. We'll wait for you here in Chaos Forest. Just find out everything you can about where Dark went and report back to us, got that? I'll find Dark. I won't fail. If you say so, Bebendora. And now we're controlling her. Okay then, jeez. Suddenly we just we just doubled the amount of characters we've controlled in this game here. We only controlled Dark and Karg before, and now suddenly Delma and Bebedora all at once. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Just like this music is interesting. At least I think so, anyway. Enter the castle ruins. Why not? Let's do this. What the heck? What's with this music? I'm gonna just be quiet again. It sounds so goofy. Alright, so this is definitely post-dark leaving. There was a humble grade. Read the headstone. Nafia Uriel, may she rest in peace. Okay. What a nice reading that was. <laughs> anyway, moving on then, shall we? I'm so curious if this is before Karg showed up, though. Hmm. I guess we'll find out, though. I mean, if the town is all destroyed still, so that'll be a good sign. It looks like it is destroyed. Okay, so this is after Karg visited. Okay. I haven't seen- I haven't seen you around here before. Who are you? I'm a Deimos child. I'll be straight up. Don't be ridiculous. Don't joke about Deimos at a time like this. Or would I? Okay, I'm a monster. My, my, aren't you just the cutest little monster? Okay, sure. I'm Bebedora. Bebedora? Never heard of a Bebedora around here. Are you lost or something? Yes, I am lost. How do you know? What? Oh, come on. There was a fourth option. What was the fourth option? I didn't even read that one. I literally just read the first three. Every, every, everything's just going from bad to worse. This is all that card's fault. What's a card? What does bad to worse mean? Are you my enemy? Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. Okay, what's a card? Karg is a very bad Deimos that's caused all of the all, is all terrible pain and suffering, child. What does bad to worse mean? Bad to worse? Well, you know, it means nothing but bad things have been happening. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Are you my enemy? What kind of nonsense is that? Be off with you now. Shoo! <laughs> Alright. We'll go in here now. Let's just figure out. Oh, maybe that's where I was supposed to go. Karg, you're back, I... Oh! Yep, indeed. Who's Karg? I'm Bebedora. Karg is the one that lives here. <laughs> ah, sweet rose-colored thoughts. Attraction. The pale, rosy color of dawn. Secret. Fag, tender emotions, a dark red. You have feelings for Karg. Huh? I... What are you talking about? You know, I really didn't actually want to go here. I actually wanted to explore more of the town here. I just kind of moving around places and... I don't know. So, do you have an errand here or something? Are you from this part of town? Where's your mother? Isn't anybody watching you? I'm looking for my friend. Your... Friend! The azure blue of sadness, the deep crimson of pain, the dark gray of rep rep repentance. Is that regret? You regret something. You're sorry you hurt someone. What? Just what are you talking about, little girl? Little girl, who's that? I'm Bebedora. Your feelings, I understand them. I can see them, you know. You've been betrayed, bluish purple, and I see the dusky scarlet color of jealousy. Stop it! Dot 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 dot. Hehehe. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. Say what you want. Want me to help you find your friend? No, I'll find my friend myself. You have to find your own friend. My, my own, my own friend. That's right. That's what your heart wants. How do you know all these things? Are you just making lucky guesses? What a strange child. Strange child? Who's that? I'm Bebedora. Bebedora, what an unusual name. My name's Paulette. Thank you, Bebedora. Thank you. Yes, I'm grateful to you. Talking with you, I don't know. I feel better somehow, so I thank you. I'll go out and see if your family's out there waiting for you. Wait right here, okay? No, I don't want to wait right here. I want to explore the town more and talk to more people. Gratitude. Kindness. 
What is this I'm feeling? This light makes me feel anxious. It lights the darkness in my heart. This place is filled with light. No, no, no. I don't want to be here. I've got to get out of here. I've got to look for dark. <gasps> Was she choking on the light? I found them. Some of Dark's feelings, I found a few of them still lingering here. Dark was here once. Where did Dark go? I must find him. Okay then. Maybe we will try to find him somewhere? Not in here, of course. Okay, no. I can't look at that poster? That painting? That thingamabobber? I don't even know. Okay, so moving on then. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Well, I guess that gives me a chance to explore the town? Maybe? There's nothing of particular interest here. How do you know, Bebador? You don't know anything. Or do you? What is this thing anyway? Is that like an air conditioning unit? A fan, maybe? I don't even know. Maybe it is, but I just don't know it. It seems like a pretty technological thing to be having in a place like this. I mean, this place doesn't look very technologically speaking. I don't even know. Car grew wings all of a sudden, right in the middle of his back. Humans don't have wings. Everybody knows that. It's kind of weird that the music just stopped, so I thought maybe this was like something I had to do or something. I don't even know. So he's got to be a Deimos. Yes, you're right. I knew it! I just knew we had to be a Deimos! Or do you? Anyway, next one, what, what does he got? He's getting, no, I don't think so. But he's gotta be! Humans don't have wings! Everybody knows that! Yeah, but he ripped his wings off, so he doesn't have any wings anymore. <laughs> what, did I say something funny? Was he gonna say the same thing for the other one? I don't know. Don't laugh, I'm telling you the truth! <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all Nafia's fault. She's the reason all these things have happened to you, Bill. Why do you say that? Because she had the dead Deimos child. She raised it and tried to trick us all. Oh, wait. I didn't want to talk to him. So you want to know more about the Deimos that showed up here in Yubo, huh? That's kind of a long story. Still want to hear? Can't you? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, I'll tell you then. My father and my precious little boy were killed by Deimos a long time ago. So I'll tell you what happened with the Deimos this time. Time's really gotten me shaken up. Oh, I almost forgot. I was supposed to be talking about that card. 17 years ago, Nafia came back from a long trip and she had a baby with her. Even though we didn't know who the father was, the whole town woke and blessed that child. Nafia sure was a beauty when she was young. Me and all the young men adored her. That's why we all just wanted her to be happy, you see? Nobody said a word about who the father was. Now it turns out it was a Deimos she had that baby with. That really was a long story. That wasn't very interesting. Hmm, eh, whatever. Sorry about that, I'm not very good at telling stories, you see. I'm still pretty shaken up about what's happened. Alright, I'll just finish talking to him before I go back to the other guy. Betrayed by the one we love, betrayed by the man we trust. Oh, it's the worst feeling in the world. Oh, oh okay, whatever. It's, it's all, that's, okay. Anyway, who's Nafia? She's that, she's the woman that tricked us. Oh, that was pretty basic, I guess. You like to blame others, huh? Hey, come on, what else can I say? It's true. Or is it? Oh, I can go in here now. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Sure. Lord Karg, I a Deimos. I still can't believe it, but he spotted Deimos wings right before my very eyes. Poor Paulette, she was taken in by Karg and Nafia all these years. She's been depressed ever since she found that poor girl. Or was she? Maybe she wasn't. All that time, Paulette believed in Karg and stayed by his side. And look what it got her: her own father murdered by Deimos. All of Paulette's misfortunes are because of those Deimos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always gotta be blaming people now, don't you? Oh, well. Let's go in the shop, shall we? Welcome! Oh, my! Running an errand for Mom? What are you looking for? I'm looking for something. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Let's see. Was there... There was a thing here, actually. What was it? It was a green memory grass? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I was looking at the mint. That's what I was looking at. That, that's actually nothing new. So, it's still cheap here. I guess I'll buy a few spirits. So I mean, we did just buy a ton of stuff, so it's not like I'm going to be able to afford it, anything anyway, so... You know what? We might as well get some spirit stones while we're here, because why the heck not? At least I think it's a good thing to do. I mean, get them, in the, get them while they're cheap, I always say. Alright, so she's fine. She's got 100. Oh, Gans. Hello. What's up, man? Huh? Here, buy some weapon parts, little girl? Sorry, but we don't sell anything for little girls. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not very nice. Okay. That card, where could you have gone off to? Better watch it. If anyone sees you talking to me, they'll think you're a Deimos. Why would they? Haven't you heard? Card turned out to be a Deimos. I'm a friend of his, so people would just naturally assume. Uh-huh. Better watch it. Okay, I wouldn't mind. Maybe you think you wouldn't mind, but I bet your family would. 
Aha, uh -huh, that's what you think. <laughs> What's so funny? Better not have anything to do with me, I tell you. Hurry on home now. Alright, see you later, Gans. I thought maybe I'd just have a nice, pleasant conversation with you, but I guess not. I bet that card is behind the Deimos attacking you, Bell, too. I just bet you. He pretended to be one of us. But all the while, he just wanted to destroy all humans. So what? Oh my god. Huh? What I'm trying to say is... Everything is all cards' fault. And I'm not just saying that because all the girls think he's so handsome, either. You believe me, don't you? Not really. Anyway, old man, what do you got to say? The Deimos child in the great royal family of Yubel, after all its history and tradition, to think that for 17 years we were taken in by that woman, I feel like throwing myself in that river and ending it all right now. Hey, don't, don't do that. Give him a push. Oh my gosh. Okay. You, Ron Little, you didn't actually think I was serious, did you? You nearly gave me a heart attack. Uh huh. A Deimos child, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to throw you in. Hey, what are you trying to pull? I didn't mean it literally. Are you trying to kill me? Well, I wouldn't put a pastor to do something crazy like that. But anyway, don't do anything. I see that your heart isn't completely filled with despair. You aren't really prepared to die. <laughs> What's so funny? It isn't easy to end it all, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up about that. That's not a that's not a pleasant topic to talk about now. But anyway, moving on. First Nafia, then Karg, who served them loyally all this time, and now look. How could this have happened? Yes, how? I'm not saying I have all the answers. All I know is that ever since Nafia brought back that Damos with her, you almost had one of one catastrophe after another. Yeah, sure they have. Okay, are Nafia and Karg enemies? Of course there are enemies. I'm glad they're gone. They were a terrible jinx on this town. Maybe they weren't. Maybe you're just making things up. You have pain in your heart. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I like hating anybody, you know. It's just that we can't just turn a blind eye when somebody breaks every rule there is by getting involved with Deimos. <laughs> sure. Okay, this is a really interesting segment, I gotta say. I'm just, I'm not gonna lie about that. This is really interesting. I don't know, I think I can fix it, but it looks pretty bad. This is gonna take a long time to repair. Why don't you throw it away? We can't just throw it away. The energy we extract with this machine supports all of you, Bell. And it seems like everyone has like three different options for some reason. You, you can repair it. I think I can if I really try. Or can you, Butch? I don't think I trust your repair skills very well. What's broken in there is everyone's souls. The people were betrayed by those they trusted. They're bitter and angry. I don't know if we'll ever get our old peaceful Ubel back. It really is a shame. Well, yeah, especially since your Defense Corps leader's dead, your other Defense Corps leader's dead. Well, I mean, dead in the sense that you don't like him anymore. I don't even know. Anyway, are you my enemy? What do you, what do you want? You just say whatever pops in your head, don't you, kid? Well, I guess I can't blame you for thinking that way about me. Huh. Sure, okay. Why are you standing here? I I'm actually wondering that myself, actually. Because I, can I can't show my face in this town. They hate me because I was in the Dillswold army. I want to help them with the repairs, but they don't trust me. How did they even know you were part of Dillswold before? You never actually walked into this town, did you? Did you? Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> Say, haven't I... Don't I know you from somewhere? Now where have I seen you before? Yeah, you might not want to make her suspicious. I actually don't remember her running into Bebador, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, you still, you don't want to, you don't want to take too many chances now, if you know what I mean, anyway. I can't believe Karn turned out to be a Deimos! I know it's wrong to lie, but you know, you think Karn was really lying? No, he wasn't lying, he didn't know. Seriously, why would he have known? Now listen to me, child. If you don't want people to shun you like they do that awful Deimos card, you better not tell lies. You understand? Yes, okay, I understand. Well, good. I wish my kids listened so well. Okay. And the next part would be... I don't understand. What does shun mean? Oh my gosh. Okay. What's not to understand? What I'm saying is, if you if you tell lies like Karg, you'll grow wings just like he did. That isn't even close to remotely true. I'm just saying that. It isn't. It just isn't. Go ahead. Tell all the lies you want to tell people. You're not going to grow wings. Or are you? <laughs> huh? Oh, shun. Well, it's when people don't like you anymore, and they won't have anything to do with you. Yeah, okay, sounds accurate to me. How about you, kid? Stupid children's defense corps, that card tricked us! Darn it all! 
Wasn't that the kid that I gave that awkwardly deep voice to? I feel like that was. Maybe it was the other kid. I don't remember. Anyway. And I think I was working for a monster like that. It's horrifying. Is it? Wait. Wait. Oh, no. I can leave. I still have work to do here. Alright, so since nowhere else is meant to be gone to, it must be here that I gotta go. I kinda wanted to use a save point anyway. Or did I? I don't think she's gonna say anything, will she? Oh my! Hehehehe, <laughs> surely a young girl like you wouldn't be getting into fights. If you wanna get better, don't come to me. Just eat plenty of food and get plenty of rest. Right, but what if I was injured? You ever think about that now? You, Bell, attacked by Deimos, even our trusted commander turns out to be a Deimos. People just don't know what to believe in anymore. How about you, little girl? Do you have something to believe in? Sure. You do? I'm glad to hear that. As long as you have something to believe in, you still have hope. You're a lucky girl. And what if I say the other things? For some weird reason, when I have to talk to them again, I usually have to move for some reason. I don't know why, but eh, whatever. No. When a person doesn't have anything to believe in, that's the saddest thing of all. That's how the core feels right now, too. Everything's all turned upside down. I mean, we're the defense corps. We're supposed to be fighting, but we're supp suspending operations. How can we possibly make the people trust us again when our own commander was a Deimos? Easy. Just tell them it's not a big deal and who cares, and just make Karg do his thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes we just lose sight of what we believe in. That's how I feel, too. Like I've lost something really important. But you know what? We lost here in Ubel. Wait, we, we what we lost here in Yuba, we what we can get back again. At least I really hope so. Did I say the other option? I I don't oh, I must have, because he didn't he doesn't want to say anything else anymore. He doesn't want anything more to do with me. No one's in here. Alright, so nothing left to do than to talk to the good old Paul Polly Paulette. I hope you're gonna enjoy talking to Polly Paulette because well actually, I gotta be right back now. Not ready to end the episode, but I gotta be right back, so be right back! And I'm back, everyone! And I'm just going up and down stairs because I feel like it. Why not? It seems like Bebedora would like to do that randomly. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to stop moving around like that. Oh, sorry, little girl. I'm having a very important discussion with Paulette right now. Come back later, okay? All right. Maybe not, because I got to talk to Paulette. <laughs> oh, that little girl from before. Little girl from before. Who's that? I'm Bebedora. Yes, you're right. Sorry, Bebedora. Look, I've got something I've got to take care of right away. I'll help you find your family later, okay? I promise! Wait, Paulette! Alright, sure, okay, I guess I'm going after her. So I assume, anyway. Where are you now, Paulette? I'm I'm on to you. I know you're somewhere in this town. We gotta have a locator immediately before she disappears. Are you in here? No, she couldn't be. No, she has to be. No, she isn't. Because Tajana's in there. Well... I don't know, I mean, Paula could have been in there too, I mean, it's not like, not like they couldn't have both been in there, I don't know, who knows. Are you over here? Did she go back in the house? I wonder where she went. Alright, how about over in this building? Maybe she went over here. Nope, Gans is here, but Paula's not here either. Okay then, I'm just gonna assume that she went back into the house, unless she went over there. Hmm, I'll look in the house first, because that's what I want to look at. I don't see her anywhere. Are you in here, Paula? Paula, where are you? You must show your face immediately, come on now, don't make me search around all over the town. I'm not good at this sort of hide and seek thing. I never was good at hide and seek, I'm just, I'm bad at that stuff. It's like, oh, okay, great. You're hiding somewhere. I have no idea where, though, I mean, come on. You think you expect me to know this stuff? I'm not a psychic, jeez. Anyway, are you on the, no, Maru's here. Maru wasn't here earlier, was he? I don't think he was. That face, are you a Deimos? Who are you? It, why does it say Demo Stranger? We know who this is. Jeez Louise. I'm Bebedora. My name's Maru. Oh my gosh, it's Maru. No way. You're not a Demos, are you? I'm the king of Chaos Forest. I'm no Demos. Are you human? Well, yeah, of course. You're a human, but you're interesting. Your heart is... More complex than a Deimos heart. Is that supposed to be a compliment or something? What are you doing here? Me? I'm... Well, somebody's got her grieve for Lady Nafia, don't they? If nobody grieved for her, well, I'd, just, I'd feel just awful, that's all. Nafia? Grieve? 
What are those things? Nafia is Karg's mother! I almost said father. <laughs> oh, Karg. I've heard of him. The one Paulette is waiting for. And he's my friend, too. He's my very first friend ever. Friend? <laughs> yeah, well, my position is a little above his, actually. Me being king and all. But Karg, well, he... Turned out to be a Deimos. My very first friend ever. Turned out to be a Deimos. I... I still can't believe it. He grew wings. They look just like Drakir wings. Drakir, that's what Dark is. How come you know about that Deimos Dark guy? I know everything. Yeah, I guess you would know about him. Everybody knows about him by now. That's all they ever talk about all over town. Paulette told me about him. She said the Deimos that killed Lady Nafia was a guy named Dark. And that he snatched up Lily and carried her off to the Cave of Truth. Dark went to the Cave of Truth. Yup. Now if I only knew where that Cave of Truth was, I'd go there and take care of that old Dark you know, for Karg. I'm going there. I'm going to the Cave of Truth. Huh? That's what I've been looking for. Hmm, I don't know about you. You're a little strange, aren't you? I'm strange? I'm Bebadora. I knew she'd say that. I was created to destroy the world. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Destroy the world? What are you talking about? Are you trying to make me laugh now or something? Because I was crying before. No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm always serious. You just aren't taking me seriously. I can see your color of doubt. <laughs> so you're serious, huh? I really don't know about you. You're more than a little strange, aren't you? But whether you're serious or not, you shouldn't talk about destroying the world, you know. I shouldn't. Why not? Why not? Because if you destroyed the world, everybody'd be sad. That's why not. Everybody? Who? Everybody in the whole world, that's who. What about you, Maru? Would you be sad? What do you think? Yeah, I'd be sad too. I see. Da, 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 da. I feel like I could be sad too. See? So stop talking about dumb stuff like trying to destroy the world, okay? Oh, hello, Gans. Hello, Tijana. What's up? They just showed up. Paulette, where are you? Are you here, Paulette? Huh? That sounds like Gans. Sounds like they're looking for Paulette. They're my friends, too. Hey, I'll introduce you. Follow me. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we will follow him. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Oh, boy. Have you seen Paulette? Nope, she hasn't been here. Hey, I want to introduce you. This is... This isn't good. If Paulette isn't here... Then that means she went after them. Hey, listen up, guys! I'm trying to introduce you to someone here. Paulette's gone off to Chaos Force to take care of some Deimos that showed up there. What? You're kidding! She heard a rumor that one of them was the one that killed her father. Well, what's the matter with you? Why didn't you stop her? I didn't know anything about it until it was too late. This is no time to be arguing. We've got to do something. You're right. Paulette could be in trouble. We've got to go rescue her. Is this girl an acquaintance of yours? Yeah, her name's Bebadora. At least he actually remembers her name. You better not come with us, Bebadora. It's too dangerous. Da 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 da. Okay, everybody, let's go. Bebadora, huh? I've heard that name somewhere before. Tajana, what are you doing? Let's go. Yes, yes, all right. Yeah, very, very familiar indeed. So super familiar, a little too much, in fact. I can see the screaming of their hearts. Human hearts are so small and weak. They long desperately for Karg. <laughs> Without Karg, they can't do anything. 
It's the same with us. The Deimos can't do anything without Dark either. Too bad, I wanted to stay here and play a while longer. But it looks like Chaos Force is going to be interesting. Ooh, is it now? Well, I'm sure it will be interesting. Oh, we're just going straight there. I wanted to actually walk there first, but okay. And who the heck reported this anyway? Who was in Chaos Force that was actually able to report their presence? Dang it. She's taking too long. What could that girl be doing all this time? Maybe she got caught by the humans. Oh man, listen to you now. You're the one that said Babadora would be just fine. What I said was just a simple suggestion. If memory serves, weren't you the one that made the final decision? What? Why you? Ah, humans. Huh? Uh-oh, wait, what? That's not who I was expecting. But okay then, sure. Wait a second, never mind. Killing this lot will bring in quite a reward. Prepare to die, Deimos. You're just in time. I was getting bored standing around doing nothing. Ready to shake things up? Yeah, I guess it'll help pass the time. Alrighty then. Well, okay, can't use her again. What else is new? Anyway, though, I'd say on the next exciting episode, we'll start at, well, I mean, eh, whatever. You know, as usual, I guess I'll just go ahead and we'll just see how powerful these humans are. I mean, I'm sure we'll take them out in a few seconds, but still, though. I'm going to start this up in the next episode here because, eh, I don't know. I'm going to destroy a tree. Actually, no, I'm not going to destroy a tree because I have to look at these guys. I already said I was going to do that. Whip Hunter, Spear Hunter. Is this, guy, is this guy one of the Belmonts or something? I don't know. Maybe they are. Spear Hunter, Sword Lady, Sword Hunter. Hmm. All right, all right. So anyway, let's just try to avoid Simon Belmont then. And next time, everyone, we will... Why do you have to talk, Camellia? Why do you have to talk? Anyway, whatever. I can't believe we have to fight all by ourselves, cut off and alone out here in the human territory. If only Dark were with us now. Ah, quit your whining, hag! We'll do just fine without that old Dark. Are you sure? You sound like you're trying awfully hard to keep up a brave front, Orcon girl. Will you shut up already? Let's get down to business. We'll have this cleaned up in no time. Alright, sure. Anyway, I believe you. Or do I? Anyway, like I said, next time, everyone, we are going to continue this fight. I don't know what's going to happen. We might actually have our first confrontation between Karg and Dark's group. Maybe. I'm, I'm looking forward to it if it is the case, because it should be an interesting fight, nonetheless. All right, everyone, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.